All right, so there's a, l a couple bugs and glitches going on right now, but this is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's a known glitch or what, but since I finished my level one uh, challenges in the archives, um, for whatever reason, level four is popping up for me and it's showing all of the challenges that I'm uh, eventually going to have to do. This challenge isn't going to come out until like December 18th. So, I mean, I guess they're subject, the challenges are subject to change, but some of them are pretty ridiculous. Um, you've got uh, six skill checks for this is not happening. I mean, that's pretty manageable. Um, blind a killer, uh, carrying a survivor two times. That sounds ridiculous, namely because I hate flashlights. I don't understand why you would endorse bringing flashlights into a game, but what the fuck ever. I guess I'll just have to practice flashlights. Um, four gens in a single trial with dark sense just seems stupid. Um, I don't know if it means that you have to work all four generators or if it just counts the generators that teammates do, but I don't know. The more I think about this one, the more it kind of starts to seem a little bit impossible. So, I don't know. There's, uh, they get worse. <laughs> um, four chests using plunderer's instinct. I don't know. I don't know why this, this seems like a repeat challenge. Because, I mean, there was one in level one that required you to do three chests uh, with plunders, And then... In the same level, there was one that required you to do five chests, but it wasn't in a single trial. This just, I don't know, this just seems like a, a repeating challenge, kind of. You're just adding an additional chest to the level one challenge, so, I don't know. Uh, drop a pallet to stun killer four times. Uh, kind of manageable, but situational, because you may or may not get chased in a game. Uh, unhook three survivors after endgame collapse has begun. This seems... And it, and it requires you to do it in a single trial. This seems stupid to me too. Because there aren't that many hooks that go on during endgame collapse. I mean, and by the time you get to endgame, there's already people that are probably going to be either dead or dead on hook. So I don't know how they expect you to get three unhooks during endgame, and then on top of it, it has to be, um, safe. Um, this seems impossible. The, the blood point, uh, reward is pretty decent. I mean, that's good, but, I mean, this challenge seems almost impossible. You could probably do, like, 20 different games, and, uh, maybe one of them would have a situation like this, so... I think a lot of people are going to get frustrated with this one, and th they get worse. Okay, this is the end. Um, catch a survivor in bear trap five times as trapper in a single trial. I mean, it's doable, but it's going to be one of the, another one of those deals where you're going to have to probably have multiple games in order to get it, unless you got some serious potatoes. Um, I mean, granted, it's released on the 18th, so it would be only five days after rank reset so maybe some of these are going to be a little bit more doable than what i'm foreseeing uh sacrifice three survivors during endgame collapse using no ed uh, this just seems like basically to me what they want you to do here is throw they literally want you to sit in a corner as killer with no ed and just let survivors rush the gens that that's what that seems like to me which is really haphazard and stupid but uh, what the fuck do i know damage the same generator four times seems doable but it's literally the same generator how often are you going to be able to damage the same gen um because yeah you also have to rely on the fact that or rely on the idea of survivors coming back and actually touching that gen. So that's extremely situational. Um, 
chase survivors for 180 seconds using distressing. That actually seems like one of the easier challenges to do on this level. And the reward is pretty ridiculous too, considering all you have to do is basically chase someone for 180 seconds. Uh, and it, you could probably get away with using like um, monitor and abuse on this to lower your terror radius too, because it just says that you have to use the perk. You don't have to. You can use other things to hide your terror radius. So Michael would like dead rabbit and um, like uh, monitor and abuse would actually. Uh, help offset some of that. Uh, damage generator drop pallet eight times uh, using brutal strength. Again, this is another repeat challenge, but the one challenge in level one was five times instead of eight. Um, they honestly they could use some more originality in these challenges. Um, five survivors in the basement while using agitation. This is going to be relatively easy. It's just running basic uh, basement build. Um, escape trial after every other survivor has escaped. This is going to be extremely situational and frustrating for people. Um, probably going to be one of those situations where... Um, I don't know, maybe depipping. This almost... like This literally incentivizes people to depip to play against worse killers. Because... That's really the only way it's going to happen uh, after every other survivor has escaped. So that is basically wait until you're the last survivor left. So you have to wait until all three survivors escape and then you have to escape is the way I'm reading it. Which means that uh, as thickle as some survivors are, and I've been noticing it when because I, I had to struggle getting my Claudette. Uh, I've, been, I've been seeing a lot of people disconnect because they're looking to do their challenges and if they can't finish their challenge they're pretty much well fuck everyone else I'm going to leave what are we going to do when the same survivors are trying to do the same challenges then it becomes an argument as to who escapes and who stays this is just stupid Catch four different survivors in bear traps as a trapper in a single trial. Uh, it's, again, it's not bad. It's just a repeat challenge where level one, you had to do it twice in a single match. And now this is four times. A, it's just a repeat challenge. Uh, sacrifice four survivors in basement. Again, it's just basement build. Um, it doesn't. They don't have to be in the same at the same time but it has to be in the same trial I mean it just seems silly it, it really does so this basically means that you're going to have to run uh, iron grasp agitation and uh, fuck maybe even mag grit and mag grit would actually probably help you a lot too in that sense so that's all the challenges for um level four um i was trying to do the collection and watch some of the audio clips um and the game legitimately aired out on me so i don't know if there's any more bugs that are going on or if that was just an isolated thing um this was a surprise coming in and seeing this um thankfully this is level four and not level two because some of these challenges seem next to impossible to do. Um, I really wish they'd dial back on some of them. Um, some of the uh, numbers are, are asking a bit much, especially the sacrificing three survivors uh, during endgame. Or wait, is this... Yeah, this one. There's at least one other one. I think, like, unhooking three survivors during endgame. Yeah. Like, some of these just seem a little much. I mean, granted, it's a level 4, so I'd expect the challenges to uh, increase in difficulty, but some of these seem a, a little too difficult, especially when you're uh, just trying to unlock lore. I guess the ones that unlock lore don't seem too bad. 
maybe this one. This one seems stupid to me, but that's my three cents or two cents or whatever the fuck. Um, yeah, I, I got nothing else other than that.